Where are Colette and the others? Looks like they've gone in already. Let's hurry up. Now, my daughter, release the final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? Colette's human life will now end and she will be reborn as an angel. Professor Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. That... that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tefeala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. You kept it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? If that is what the Chosen desires, she can lend her power to Crucius by becoming an angel. Once the goddess Martell is revived by the Chosen, the two worlds will surely achieve peace, just as the Chosen wishes. Is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. Ah. You can't! Are you really planning to die? Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and... and me, we'll all be sad. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us! Genus! Let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silverun are suffering too! But... The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. Wait! Remiel! Is there really no other way? Colette's your daughter! Surely you don't really want her to die either! My daughter? Don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of Guardian Angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. Wh what 
I merely placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martel's vessel. Colette! Lloyd, it's okay. I realized what was going on. Every time I met Remuel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette, if you realized what was going on, then why... You can hear my voice? I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please... Colette! It looks like... it's time. Goodbye. <laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martel's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you going to do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. Master, you'll pay for this. Crucius. The angels? The goddess Martel? It's all a big lie, isn't it? Let her go! Now! That I cannot do. For she is Martel's vessel. This is Martel's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone! I have no further need of you. Be gone! This Punishment! Possible? How can an angel, the ultimate being, 
lose to a group of humans. Colette, come back to us! I'm going to restore you back to your normal self, I promise! Colette, have you really forgotten me? You're wasting your time. Not only did she lose her memory, but she has lost the soul to listen to your words. Now Colette is merely a puppet standing before death's door. Kratos! Where have you been? What are you saying? The Chosen desired the regeneration of the world and chose this path herself. By the summoning of the Chosen to Daris Carlon, the seal will be broken and the regeneration will be complete. Kratos, what are you talking about? It is what you wanted as well. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martel. What are you talking about? Kratos, answer me! Lord Kratos, have pity on me. Please, lend me your aid. Have you forgotten, Remio? I was once of the inferior race, a human. Does the ultimate being seek help from that which he despises the most? Move out of the way. Kratos, who are you? I am of Crucius, the organization that guides this world. I am one of the four Seraphim, sent forth to keep close watch over the Chosen. Kratos is an angel too? You deceived us! Deceived? If the Chosen merges with Martell, she will awaken and the world will be saved. Is that not what you wanted? Once her body is taken by the goddess Martell, Colette will truly die. No, she will be reborn as Martell. Damn it! You think I'm gonna let you do that? Colette is our friend! You earnestly believe you can defeat me? Oh, my God. 
lightning blow. Are you okay? Yes, be careful, thanks. White Spear! Fight and play! Resurrection! Fight and White Spear! You cannot oppose fate. I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? Another angel? Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eudrasil, leader of Crucius, and the Desions. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Okay. 
Kratos, I trust you have no objections? <sighs> Farewell. Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel! We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive! Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the Renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. Lloyd, you're finally awake! Uh, well, where are we? Where's Colette? She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Desions. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Desions? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desions. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desions. All right, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then who was that angel guy, you Drassil or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassil's words? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Desions may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait. What? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the Desions as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the Desion Five Grand Cardinals said that their boss was Eugdrasil. And Eugdrasil said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Desions when he appeared before us. If the Desions and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasil's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. 
He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate of Yggdrasil. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos! Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Our leader awaits you. Finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martell is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of exosphere called Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the Desions, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? Do they wish to revive the Goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the Mana lineage and control their marriages to create Chosens who become the Vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I am impressed. There is another world beyond Silverout that competes for Mana. Tetheala. Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was Crucius' leader, Yggdrasil. Create a world? That's ridiculous! No one can do that! If that's what you believe, then our conversation ends here. Wait! If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me! You're certainly not on our side. And yet for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on her. But now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? Well, what's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma! Ugh. Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... Lloyd! What are you doing?
This is gonna be a piece of cake! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 